want we oh it's working pretty good i don't know what the fuzz is about fujifilm or what's up with fujifilm but recently a lot of videos are popping up about their lack of autofocus or perhaps their firmware ruining their autofocus recently I don't know what gives but um yeah i'm just gonna make this video to show you that the older xh1 works just fine and i have the face detect you know the tracking the face and that's it but i'm still in single autofocus it's not in the continuous one because i don't need it it still works pretty well and do you see any pulsing so i have some not rgbs but some led lights in the background the little rounded one so you could see the bokeh but also so you could see if it pulses if it pulses like some have complained fujifilm to be doing um, but from the testings that i have done i haven't seen any pulsing whatsoever so i did test this camera up against the xh2s in a camera store and from that limited hands-on test that i did i didn't notice the pulsing so much um you know it does do that step focusing that a lot of the youtubers are complaining about but it wasn't as bad as i have seen some youtubers it's like one three five is it, it's just like skips and it's just really jerky and not smooth at all and i really just have to wonder whether that could be a little bit slightly user error i know fujifilm has a lot of work to do but could the user also improve a little bit the smoothness with some of the settings? I don't know. But from my testing that I did with the XH2S, it wasn't that jerky. Now that could be because it was an older firmware. Maybe that camera, the particular camera that I had hands on wasn't updated to the latest firmware. That could be another thing. Um, so I can't wait to get go back to the store and give it another run. I want to see how that XH2S does and if I make that test by the time I finish this video then I will include that in the video here but if not uh, be sure to stick around hang around come back to the channel because I'll have another updated video talking about Fujifilm's autofocus mystery but um yeah so far I haven't suffered so much from what others have described so it's pretty scary though if that is true that Fujifilm they ruined the autofocus that'll be kind of unfortunate but hopefully there'll be enough firmware upgrade soon to fix and take care of all the issues that are going around because that's not good it's not good for the brand not good for the name it actually is tracking pretty well even when I'm showing objects and things in front of the lens even though it takes a while to focus you know because it's a, a little bit on the slower speed but the tracking is really smooth it does hunt a little bit in the back and then it comes to my face but it's not bad and actually to even add to the challenge i put something in the foreground my microphone that is recording me externally into my macbook pro but i'm also recording the audio of the fujifilm with this little lab mic is an Audio Technica. It's a mono lab, AT, the AT9914. I think it's 14. Oops, sorry about the noise. I think it's a AT9914, I believe it is. Uh, anyway, it's one of those cheap $30 lab mics that is a mono, but it works great in Fujifilm. And the reason why it's up here, not clip on my shirt, because it just sounds better up front and when i put it down here it just muffles the sound but anyway this is not about the sound this is about autofocus and while i've been talking to you this whole time have you been bothered by any other pulsing back there i would like to think no i think it's doing a pretty good job um sometimes when it blurs out i would tell i can see it on my uh, monitoring above the camera but so far it's a green box this whole time now tracking is another story of course i'm not going to be doing the whole tracking test because it's pretty pointless when i'm in youtube i want to have a, a a setup right in front of me i want to have the microphone the sound panels the lights everything just ready to go 
I'm not gonna be moving around. I'm just gonna be sitting in front of the camera and that's probably a good 80% of the YouTubers out there, out there, the creator, the content creators, are probably gonna be sitting in front of the camera talking to it. So yeah, if that's what you are intending to shoot, if that is your area, your field of, of expertise, you have nothing to worry about Fujifilm's autofocus. Now, if you're doing like model shoots or somebody that's moving around, maybe sports, then I will be a little bit concerned about the autofocus in that case. But regardless, uh, thermal rule, that is just a principle that I believe strongly from the bottom of my heart is that if it's worth, if it's something that is vital, that like content is just too important to gamble with the autofocus, regardless of what manufacturer I'm using, Sony, Canon, Nikon, doesn't matter. I will shoot manually. That is always the best way to go. So all my videos that I'm shooting outside, uh, the models, that's all manually done. Uh, but for this kind of YouTube headset shot, I just use autofocus because it doesn't hunt as much and I trust it. I rely on it to do its thing. But how has the test been so far? Pretty good yeah i think so too so and by the way i'm just gonna run down through the specs that i'm shooting with this is again the fujifilm xh1 we're in 1080p because i am shooting with the 23 mil f2 lens and uh footing in 4k is gonna crop heavily so it will be a little too tight for my comfort so 1080p 24p um highest bit is like 100 megabytes per second and uh eternal this is all straight out of the camera. I might tweak the white balance here and there in the shadows, maybe a little bit, but this is mainly gonna be straight out of the camera. I don't remember my focusing settings. All right, so I just checked the, the menu in the back and my focusing settings are plus three for the tracking. So it's gonna track fast, but at the speed I have it at minus three. So I knew it was like an inverted kind of settings and that's how you have to play around with the system to see which one works best with your lens and your camera. So in this case for the X-H1 again, let me just showcase something else. Uh, here's my Sony A7S. This is my webcam that I usually use shooting in 4K through the HDMI and my Camlink 4K get amazing web calls and conference calls with this setup right here look at that i got a nice vintage lens right there the rocky non 28 mil f2 8 it's a oldie but goodie and i noticed that it was hunting a little bit there um but and it's slow to track but you know what it wasn't that distracting right while i'm talking to you about the lens that i'm using you know it just did its thing trying to focus and now it's finally locked in place and is focused there now when i remove the camera let's see how long it takes to get back on me and there you go i'm in focus oh it did hunt a little bit right did it i don't know but anyways you could see throughout this whole test i've been moving moving around side to side turning my head constantly i have this mic on the way it's blocking a little bit of my face the chin around my chin and jaw area but it doesn't really block the face but I could still see that the green box has been constantly on me. So again, XH1, single point, or not single point, but single focus, autofocus setting, and face tracking, face tracking is on. Unfortunately, due to the older sensor, we don't have eye tracking. So this face detect is pretty old. We don't even have eye detect. Only in stills, we have the eye detect, but it's working pretty good in 2024 again straight out of the camera pretty good oh now switching to 4k you could see that it did crop quite a bit but i just want to see how is the focusing is it still on par we'll see uh, my face is half lit up because i have most of my light on an angle next to me and that's just gonna create some of the contrast it's gonna be a little bit moody so i'm not going here for a flat look just wanted to talk to you guys about the autofocus in fujifilm the older fujifilm if you're watching this 
get your things together and don't forget to work on the app yeah we still need more work on the app that's it well guys if you found this video helpful in any way if you found it educational or just flat out pretty cool to see how fujifilm works in a headshot scenario like this then smash the like button thumbs up and that will help out the channel as well share for others to see that fujifilm is not as bad as some say it is and that's it thank you guys so much for watching and hope to see you guys on a future video peace and happy shootings okay now we gotta go to work <laughs>